Hi, I'm Laura from Lightform. I'm going to be giving you a quick look at the Lightform Creator software. So the Lightform Creator software works with Lightform LF1 and your projector to make the design process for projected AR really easy. So for this setup, we have the Lightform LF1 hooked up to our kit projector, which is the Epson 1060, and this is all on a tripod setup pointed at a tabletop scene. And this setup is really nice for prototyping, so if you want to test out an idea or kind of experiment with how different effects look on different objects, this setup is really ideal. Uh, so now we're going to get started with the software. Okay, so we're going to open up Lightform Creator and start a new project. The first thing you'll have to do is connect your LF1. So we have a lot of LF1s here in the office. You probably won't have to scroll through all of these, but my LF1 is called Careful Parakeet, so I'm going to connect to that. So what we see here is our test pattern. The LF1 shows this pattern so you can make sure everything you want in your scene is covered by the projector and is in the field of view of the LF1. Now we're going to click Scan. And what's happening now is the LF1 is sending a structured light pattern to the projector and LF1's camera is capturing how those patterns hit the scene. So from this, Lightform is able to generate a depth estimate map of your scene. And now LF1 is wirelessly sending that scan data to Lightform Creator. And here's our scan. Here you can toggle between an RGB picture of your scene and the disparity data. In this scan, you can see the disparity data best on the plant, so you can see kind of the depth of the leaves here. You can also adjust the brightness of your scan and play with the hole filling. Hole filling is how Lightform handles parts of the scene that the projector can't see. Uh, here we can see hole filling going on where the shadows are cast by each of the objects and I'm going to enable Lightform Labs. This is a feature we're working on that will let you test out some of the features we have in development. If you toggle Labs on, you'll be able to play with new features. These features might be a little buggy or slow, so if you toggle Labs off, uh, you'll only see the features that we've classified as fit to ship. Okay, I'm gonna turn on streaming. This gives me yellow crosshairs where my cursor is, and it'll let me see the mass I'm creating in the software in real life. Okay, let's use Magic Wand to select the snail shell. High contrast black and white elements like this scan really well, um, and they work really great with Lightform's quick selection tools. Okay, I'm gonna click Create Surface. And now since I have streaming on, I can see the mask I created in real life. Let's turn streaming off now and apply an effect. So Lifeform Creator has two kinds of effects. Instant effects that use the scan data to inform how the effect behaves and generators that are more of the classic overlay effect. So let's try the crystal generator on this shell. And I'm gonna edit the size of the effect and make it a little bigger. Okay, let's move on to the plant. Creator's instant effects work really well on 3D organic objects like this. I'm going to use Quick Select for this mask. And minimize my brush size a little bit. Okay, I have a little overspill, so I'm going to subtract from the mask. and turn on streaming again to see how the mask looks. All right, there's still a little overspill that's leaking onto the table, so let's clean that up. So the masking tools give you all of these editable points so that you can adapt the mask. Here I'm selecting a bunch of points at once to tighten up the mask quickly. For a more permanent install, I'd be a bit more meticulous about this, but for now, this will work. Okay, now I'm gonna apply an effect to the plant. So because we have that depth data from the scan, I'm gonna use one of our instant effects. 
This is Digital Fade. It's a cool color fade effect that goes along the depth of the object. So you can see how the effect goes along the depth of the plant leaves. Okay, now let's try out the pen tool. We'll create a mask on this chalkboard and tweak it a little bit. And add some text. If you select structure, you can corner pin the content within the mask. And let's make another surface to add in our own video asset. Now let's turn on video streaming to see how everything is looking in real life before we publish to the device. Awesome. I think I'm going to make this globe a little wider. Okay, so this is all one slide here. You can add more slides to build out your project, and we'll cover that in another video. But for now, we're just going to let this slide loop. And then we're going to click Publish. Now the project is being wirelessly uploaded to the device. So you can wirelessly control playback from within Lightform Creator or use the OSC controls, which we'll get to in another video. I'm going to save the project and close down my laptop, and that's it. We'll be sending out more product updates and software tutorials in the coming months, so stay tuned.